Welcome back to the Astronomy Challenge. I am Chai and I am here with you today to welcome you to the Cosmic Star House Bakery and Eatery. This is for our Venus generation, the third generation in the challenge. I just figured today I would show you a tour of the house and the bakery so that we could have that as an intro to get going. And then the next episode, we will be starting Elio on her journey of all the wonderful things and all the goodies she will be baking to serve to the customers customers in Tartosa and so on. So yes, she lives in the world of Tartosa. She wanted to have a bakery in Tartosa and she wanted to move to this world because she loves the seaside and wanted to have some nice bakery on the ocean water. So God, the scenery in this world is so beautiful. I really have not been to this world very much. It's very cool to see. Okay, so as you see, we're taking a tour of around the house and this is what is going Going to be her home for her entire generation. I think it turned out really great. We are going to have a little bit of a different look to the bakery on the inside and the rest of her house on the other side, on the right hand side, is definitely going to be themed around her color scheme, which is yellow, tans, and whites, and uh, some creams. So we are going to go here and start out with the entrance area. We have over here the, obviously, the steps going up into the bakery, and we have a few chairs out here around where she is going to be doing some baking outside, and we'll even dabble into pizza stuff and stuff like that from the Home Chef Hustle Kit, which I have never delved into yet. There is a bathroom room over here off to the side where everyone can use. This is a retail lot, by the way. And then around here in the front, we also have some nice chairs out here. I know this isn't an actual restaurant and I know it isn't somewhere where people are going to come sit and do everything else, but the aesthetic is nice. You know what I mean? And this is the entrance to her house. So we'll get to that a little bit later. But as you walk into the bakery here, she has her cash register and the place where she will be working working and doing all of her cooking. So that will be nice to see. This door will be locked here. This goes into her house. This door is locked here just for only her to get through. So hopefully with the way The Sims is, that will work. So this is the whole bakery side of things. So the reason why I called it the Cosmic Star House is obviously because this is space themed and uh, I wanted to give it a little bit more of a dark gray kind of vibe, some rust tones and some browns maybe bringing the browns in and then we have the star things here to represent the last name of the entire series. This picture here is by Fruit Loops 40. In case you wanted to go check out their gallery, it is Fruit Loops 40. I think that's the only picture I have in here that is custom. We will go around here into the back and this goes into steps down. This is a trash can for anyone to use, but then we have this door locked here. Elio will be able to go dumpster diving whenever she wants, um, and then her own trash for her own house, and then we have a grill here for her to cook out. I made her a little sunflower garden, and she has flowers to garden when it's nice outside, or we'll try to keep them maybe with the uh, current season. I was thinking of putting maybe something up here on the wall to represent what season it is so that we can keep the food nice and growing for when she bakes. And then under this awning here, we have five different planters. Those are underneath something, so they will be fine at any time. And then we come around here back to her front door. So as you go into her front door here, we have the kitchen. I love how this kitchen turned out. It is so her, definitely. Definitely meant for someone who loves to bake. And she has has her stars over here in the corner to represent the bakery outside. And then we have over here the popcorn maker, or no, sorry, the ice cream maker and a nice mirror and a place for her to chop things because I feel with the way Sims are, she has all these places to chop over here, but she'll probably just end up going over here. You never know. Then we have her little office over here in this nook. This is the door that comes in from the bakery. This is the door that goes into the bakery for her to go cook on her own if she doesn't want to go out and uh, talk to customers. 
And then here we have her bathroom inside of her house. It's just nice, plain, and simple. And this is more of a look at the bathroom for all the customers. So it's kind of bakery themed a little bit. And I kept with the theme of what was on the wall in the bakery. And then we have here her bedroom. I wanted to keep her bedroom more muted tones so that it wasn't such bright yellows. I wanted to give her the tans so that she could have a little bit more of a tranquil space to retire to. And then we have here her her dresser and TV and a painting easel if she wanted to ever dabble in that. I didn't put too much on the wall back here because in gameplay, I didn't want that obstructing my view of the rest of the house. We have her living and dining room over here. So obviously this is the kitchen and it goes over into the nice dining room. That is a six seater table with a like, it's kind of like a breakfast nook. I feel like it looks more like that and it's super Super fitting for looking outside as you have breakfast. And then we have also, like I said, her living room. I kept that more in the tones of the yellow tones of the area and kept the wallpaper kind of like going throughout. And then I left the rest of the walls blank. This here is the upstairs. There's nothing up here yet. It goes, like I said, it goes up and then it goes into the landing that is right here. And then this will be the bathroom, a really long bedroom. I haven't figured out what I want to do with that yet. And another bedroom up here. When she has kids, um, I'm sure we will, this will be the kids bedroom. And then a, like a, maybe a play area or something to do with when they're in school, some kind of like a study nook. But for now, that is completely empty. And we will add on to that as she goes into her let's play. This is is where all of the customers should spawn in and go right into here into the bakery. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Also, yes, I know this is not under an awning and I know during the time that it's raining, it might not work. That's okay because we can definitely go into the bakery and just have everyone um, purchase things from in there. But during nice days, we will come out here and we will sell to the customers and uh, go from there. I think this turned out super cute. I'm very happy with it and I am definitely happy to start her life being a baker in The Sims. I have never done that where we have just completely been 100% dedicated to baking. I'm looking forward to it and I'm also looking forward to using the Home Chef Hustle items in order to get there. So this will definitely be fun and I'm looking forward to serving all the customers and cannot wait to get started. Join me back at the next episode in the Cosmic Star House when Elio finally moves in and she has everything ready to start her baking journey. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and also subscribe if you enjoyed the video so you won't miss any new content from me in the future. Until next time, have a wonderful day.